You know, the first facet la primera faceta is so important es tan importante to what we're choosing to focus on in each moment. Praise love for this moment in its perfection. And once we start to become empty and heighten our vibration, that starts to become our reality. You know, humans are always worried about the future or regretting the past or perceiving everything through their past experiences. They don't have a clear vision. No una clara. They can't see the beauty, no ver la the, in intric the perfection of the planet, la del planeta, how phenomenal everything is. Es todo. We're always focused on what's wrong, en lo que está mal. focused on our separation, en instead of living in praise, love and gratitude. En vez de vivir en alabanza, amor y gratitud. So once we start to become empty, Así que una vez que a vaciarnos, we start to perceive a how phenomenal everything is. Lo que es todo. Because creation's phenomenal. How we exist is phenomenal. El cómo es fenomenal. All the elements are phenomenal. Todos los son But it's like air. Pero es como el aire. We take it for granted. La, la, la nos it doesn't exist anywhere else. No existe en ningún otro lado. Only here. Solo aquí. But we don't perceive Pero no the magic that's transpiring in every moment. La magia que está en cada momento. We're always focused on what we perceive is missing. Or what we need to change in order to be happy. Para ser and there's only one thing we have to change. Y solo hay una cosa que que and that's our perception y eso es of this moment. De este and you'll start to see that. Y vas a a ver eso. As you start to change your perception of this moment, de este momento, magically your life will start to change. Su vida a cambiar. Some time ago I was passionate for my job, my work. Always live after that and it felt important. I had a very bad experience of some kind of ab abuse because I was a, an empowered woman. And now I'm very afraid to go back to work and I don't want to work. And it's hard for me to share with other people. So what can I do? Well, firstly, I think you have to walk through your fears. And you have to go back to work. And you have to speak your truth. But you say you're discriminated against because you're a woman. But what type of discrimination? Emotional, physical? Which? So why didn't you make a move in that moment? que um, mi profesor tiene que ver con desarrollarme en un ambiente que es netamente de hombres. My profession is masculine environment y la completely. Y son todas masculinas. And the bosses are all men. Tratar de defenderse. So es try to defend yourself. Un ataque más fuerte. Is uh, receiving a, a stronger attack. Más grande. And bigger. Uno cuando quiere defenderse. When you want to defend. So what did you do? ¿Y qué fue lo que hiciste? Me aguanté. I just me hold it on and I maintain there till my health broke down. And I was for three years taking pills with a professional sickness where I cut myself because the, the pills were not helping to overcome my situation. When did all this happen? Two thousand sixteen till November last year. And you didn't say anything. Now I quit. 
But no, nothing, nothing else with me. You have to heal. Because you've got this idea that it's like that. And you're a victim to that. So you're attracting that. You have to stand in your power. You have to speak your truth. You have to trust in yourself. You know, I've always walked, worked in male-dominated situations. Completely. And I've never had that problem. Never. Because I wouldn't tolerate it. So there's some aspect of you where you're not empowering yourself. You're like a victim to the situation and you have to take action. But in the moment. So you've seen this. Now you have to change. You know you have to heal this so it doesn't happen again. And I'm not saying it's your fault. But the only person that can change it is you. You know, and sometimes women are so submitted, like it's, oh, well, you know, what can I do? It's a male-dominated world. And, and we don't get the same pay. And, you know, it's all victim, 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 victim. And, you know, in your country, you have presidents that are women. You know, come on. Ponga the pillars. Be a bit stronger. Yeah, denounce the bastard. Yeah, dale. Chicken? Okay, next time this won't happen. Okay, but let go of that. Focus you know, men are men. And they're like little boys. And they get in little groups. And they're like that, you know, they're, oh, everything's sexist and all that crap. You just laugh at them. Like, oh, they never grow up. Occasionally you meet a mature one. But most of them not. But you know, it's, it's all the mother's fault. <laughs> to a stamp perfecta. <laughs> really? I've seen it all. It's where you put your attention. And you know what I see with you? Because I don't know your past. But I know you have a lot of fear. I don't know if you had a violent father or, or what you had. But there's something very deep there, no? And you have to heal that. Really? Because that will change everything. And you know, I don't want to make fun. But the thing is, how we perceive things is often through what's transpired since we were little. And we have to heal that as well. You know, we have to speak our truth. But we have to heal that fear. That fear where we're anticipating something bad. Okay, so only you can heal that. And this will help. This will help a lot. Yeah. So I'm not making fun of you. I think it's a horrible situation. But there, I think there's something much deeper as well. And this will empower you. It will make you stronger. And you'll know where the limits are. Because I think before your limits were a bit wishy-washy huh? because you were afraid hmm? <coughs> I have two questions no, no. <laughs> so, just one. one maybe Maybe two. It depends on how good the first one is. Okay, we, we, I'll decide. 
bueno, la, la primera, es, eh, que a veces eh, no logro identificar. Sometimes I cannot eh, identify. Lo que una persona, por ejemplo, me puede hacer sentir. What eh, another person makes me feel. Si esa persona o, logro identificar, por ejemplo, que me molesta algo de esa persona. Maybe identify something annoys me si about that person. Eso, And if that is the mirror in me. No logro ver. I cannot see. Like, what is that in me? Okay, I'll answer that question. You know, we don't know the mirror. Because everything that affects us is blind. That's why we use the mirror. Things that affect us externally are internal. They might be a big aspect or it might be a small aspect. But we have to be so light in our vibration that nothing affects us. Nothing affects us. So everything external I use to liberate, to move stress, to scream in a pillow, to cry, just innocently to use to empty. I don't analyze it. I don't think, oh, why did that happen? Why does that affect me? Because those aspects are not important. The important thing is we become empty. And then nothing affects us. It was like this girl. Like it affects her profoundly. But with a different woman, it wouldn't affect them. And with another, maybe it affects a bit. Okay, but she's not clear why. She has to heal that aspect. So everything that comes towards us, be it nice or horrible, it's an aspect and an opportunity to grow, to be more and to go through our fears. This is how a creator feels. 90% of humanity are victims. So we don't heal, we just blame. But it doesn't change anything. If I blame someone for something, and then it happens again, it keeps affecting me. And it keeps affecting me. But if I take, if I empower myself, and I heal, What happens? Often I don't even attract the same situation. And secondly, if it does happen, I'm empowered and I make a new choice. I make an empowered choice. Focused in love. So everything that's coming is helping me heal. And it's a hard thing to take responsibility for that. Because it's so much easier to be a victim and to blame. And sure, things are happening. Doesn't make them right. But I'm going to use it to heal, to be more, to let go, to evolve. Yeah? That's all. What's the next question? <laughs> the other question is, I want to express this. Sometimes I feel that what I feel, I cannot relate it with something that is happening to me. I just feel sadness. And I don't know why I feel it. Or sometimes I'm unsettled and I don't know why I feel that. Because the joy, I know why I'm joyful. But another feelings, I have no clue why they are happening. And sometimes, yes, I know. So the first thing you need to know is joy should be for no reason. 
There doesn't need to be a reason. No necesita tener un motivo. Joy should be permanent. La dicha tendría que ser permanente. Once you become conscious, una vez que te tornas consciente, it's permanent. Es permanente. Secondly, Segundo, you don't need a reason to be sad. No necesitas un motivo para estar triste. You're a human. Eres humana. Humans have emotions. Los humanos tienen emociones. That's what activates the heart. Y eso es lo que activa el corazón. That vulnerability. Esa vulnerabilidad. That connection. Esa conexión. And when you're in a healing process, you don't need to know why. Why am I sad? Why am I angry? Why am I happy? I just am. Oh, it's like that. And the more I can come back into the present moment and not be analyzing everything, better. Just be here. Oh, well, I'm sad. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm sad, but I'm just sad. I feel very sad. And you know what? When I'm sad like this, I get angry. I don't know why I'm angry. It doesn't matter. You just have to move it and be happy. Yeah. You don't say, why am I happy? Oh, I'm happy, why? No, we take it for granted. It's not that funny. <laughs> Can I get a job with you, Patty? Where's Patty? Yeah. I think I act better than you than in the movie. <laughs> I'm joking. Can you get me a job? Seguro? Sí. Ah, qué bueno. No, crying. Ah, llorando. Ah, Wait till you see the movie. Esperen a ver la película. It's great. It's really great. Maravillosa. I'm so happy. We did a movie about the six months, no? Hicimos una película sobre los seis meses. And I've just gone through four hours. Y acabo de estar mirando cuatro horas. Over and over and over and over and over. It's excellent. Es excelente. Really excellent. Realmente and the filmation was spectacular. La filmación fue espectacular. Really spectacular. De verdad. Okay, I got distracted. Let's go. Hay una faceta que es profunda. One facet that is very deep. Que es el espejo de la perfección. That is the mirror of perfection. ¿Cómo puedo ser yo esa perfección para los demás? How can I be that perfection for the others? O tengo que ser el espejo. Or I should be the mirror para los demás. For the others. That's my question. You are the mass. Tú eres los demás. So you have to be Así que tú que ser that for you. Eso para ti mismo. You have to perceive the perfection tú que la through knowing your own perfection. A de tu And your own perfection y tu is unconditional love of self es el amor a uno mismo within the human experience de la to be perfectly human. Ser And to embrace that. Y eso. The same as you can embrace everything. De la misma que todo. You know, many things transform fire in nature and we have judgments even with that but everything's unfolding perfectly nature humanity it's a human experience and once we can perceive that but from a place of unconditional love then we receive the mirror of perfection That's when the judgment falls. Yes, I eat when the juicio cae. All separation is caused by a judgment. Toda la separación está causada por juicios. It's caused by a judgment. Causada por juicios. That makes no sense, does it? No se entiende. No tiene sentido. Hola, Isha. Hello. You're back. You're in the movie too. Te gusta mi estar en la película. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mi pregunta es que My question is, hace mucho tiempo siento que since long ago I feel that I live out of my body. Eh, y de alguna manera como quisiera que And somehow I could like to know de qué manera yo puedo como how can I maintain myself cuerpo, within my body. Eh, y pedirle un consejo cómo hacerlo. An advice y, how to? And if at some point in my life I will be able to live in the present moment and to live in my body, to live here. Well, firstly, 
It's present moment awareness. Es la conciencia del momento presente. You have to keep using the facets. Tienes que seguir usando los facets. Use the profound depth of being. Utiliza la, profu la profundidad del ser. The thing is you can see it now. La cosa es que ahora lo puedes ver. Before you didn't know. Antes no sabías. But now when you're absent, Pero ahora, cuando estás ausente, you're conscious of it. Estás consciente de eso. And when you're present, y cuando estás presente, you feel good. Te sientes bien. When you're absent, cuando estás ausente, you don't feel good. No you don't feel empowered. No you feel distant. But because you can see the difference, you can just start training yourself to be in. You know, why am I leaving my body? Why? I'm worrying. I'm consuming. Why am I leaving my body? What am I doing? How do I feel? Before you used to feel good when you're out of your body. That's why everyone leaves. Because they don't have to cope with any emotions. They just go, oh, yes, here we are, distant from everything. But once you get in and you heal and you know consciousness and you're anchored in that space of peace, to be out is horrible. It's horrible. It's like uncomfortable. It's like, so you know the difference. So just keep coming back. Stop. Close your eyes. Oh, okay, here I am. I'm good. And continue. It's easy. Some people have that tendency. Hola, Isha. Hi, Isha. Daniel de Canadá. Daniel from Canada. Um, hace diez años, Ten years ago, llegué aquí, uh, I arrived here mi mundo destrozado. with my world destroyed. Uh, eh, era miedo it was fear y culpa. and guilt. Culpa de guilt ser gay. of being gay y miedo a todo. and fear of everything. Aprendí el sistema. I learned the system Y mi, mi vida cambió. And my life changed completely. Justo el día antes de, and the de, day before de iba, that I was leaving, algo, you said something. Eh, donde no hay miedo, Where there is no fear, la creación es ilimitada. the creation is unlimited. Y lo cogí como and I took mantra, that personal. as my personal mantra. Y, eh, tenía miedo de ir a Canadá. And I was afraid to go to Canada. Fui, and okay. I went. Because I was, I was almost 50 years old in your world, and I went. I'm going to, to set up the Latin festival biggest, and I did it, and I won all the prizes. 11, 11 prizes in five years. I wanted to help and impact to the people, to give. And I received the prize, one of the ten most influent Hispanic in Canada. And the love arrived in my life. I have a wonderful partner. Pero. But. Cada vez ha sido como. Every time had been the adrenaline that I want more, and I went from working 8, 10, 12, 15 hours from Monday to Saturday. I feel guilty of, of having Sunday free. And I'm not at peace. I don't feel calm. I don't feel happy. I wonder why. Sit down. You know, the thing with you, la cosa contigo, you're always running towards the future. Es que estás hacia el because you think that's what defines you. Que eso es lo que te define, your successes. Tus and I've said it to you many times. Y eso te lo dije varias veces. If your successes define you, si tu éxito te define, your definition tu is very fragile. Es muy frágil. 
has to be something deeper. Tiene que ser algo mucho más has to be permanent consciousness. You know, and I hear you saying, I achieved all this, and now I've got the love of my life. Sounds like you're never even home with the love of your life. You know, it's like you're not stopping. And you have to stop. Because what you have isn't success. It's two thirds of success. Es el dos de éxito, Real success el éxito is firstly es primero, what you're being. Que tú estás Everything else, demás, power, poder, money, dinero, recognition, a partner, a pareja, all of that is secondary. Es First, primero, I have to be with me. Tengo yo que estar and it's time to stop. Y este es un para parar. And you know the other thing? Y la otra cosa. You spend 15 hours. Que pasa 15 horas. Once you're really within yourself, y verás que una vez que estás realmente dentro de ti, you won't need 15 hours. No vas a necesitar siquiera 15 horas. You won't need no to be running. A necesitar estar corriendo. You'll start to create from a different place. Porque vas a empezar a crear desde un lugar totalmente diferente. And then you'll have everything. Y después, sí, vas a tener todo. But you have to start at the beginning. Pero tienes que empezar por el principio. And you can't tell me you're unifying. Y no me puedes decir, estás unificando. Because you're not. Porque no estás unificando. <laughs> so change. Así que Are you coming to the six oh, weeks? Vas a venir hasta las seis semanas. Sí. Yes. Sí. <laughs> The answer is yes. La respuesta es sí, ella. You need six weeks. Tú necesitas seis semanas para ti. Bring your boyfriend. Y trae a tu novio, vénganse a vos. My question is, many times, when you say you have fear, when people say it's fear, it's the first thing they say is move, confront, move through, confront it. But many times you get paralyzed and it's a emotionally or physical paralyzing. How do you do to act if you feel paralyzed? And not continue feeling a victim or avoiding situation? You know, the thing is this, La cosa es, if it's something so big, si es algo tan, tan grande, you have to connect, te que and you have to heal that. Y que sanar eso. You know, it's not like I have fear of getting on a horse, no es como que tengo miedo de a un so I push myself Así to get on a horse, or I have fear of talking in public, tengo miedo a en público, so I push myself to talk in public. Even though I'm like this. But if it's so impacting that it paralyzes you, well, then you have to go in. And you have to heal. It's not a fear of doing. It's a profound fear of separation that creates a panic attack. So until you heal that, you can't move into action. Yeah? So you have to liberate that first. And obviously you know what it is, no? Yeah, well, you have to go beyond that. But that will take a bit of work, no? Hmm? Hello. Hello. Did you make that grunting noise when you laughed? Cuando te reíste hiciste ese ese sonido. Come on, chancho, like. Como si fueras una chancha. I heard it, no? Te escuché, te escuché. It was really loud. She's going. I was like, oh. I thought Bet it was Betty. Pensé que era Betty. Oh, there was Betty over there. Yo dije, ¿por qué Betty suena de este otro lado? Hang on, I said I wouldn't make fun of anyone. Ay, no, perdón, que yo dije, no me iba a reír de nadie. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Tenía vergüenza de hablar. I was ashamed of talking. Piggy, piggy. La muchachita. No, you can't remember what the question is. <laughs> What's the question? I want you to talk a little bit about 
Peace of being creator. That I am starting to find I'm from a different place. Happened at the beginning, this of trusting and saying, oh, I feel moved by it. I don't know if I had the nerves, the nervousness or the emotion. I wanted I want to be able to create a lot of things that are happening already. But I didn't understand how. It was this of trust, thing unified, doing all the, the parts of the system that are incorporated in my life, and then trust. But I can see that I always I felt that is like a kind of magic. You, you decide, you move through the fear, and, and then there is a magic that accommodates things. But I can see that that magic is my own. That is not a higher, a higher power that accommodates things. But it's, it's me, it's me the magician. That. And I wanted you to talk a little bit more because sometimes it's like overwhelming. I say, well, maybe I'm a little bit crazy. All that power is mine or what's going on? You know, we have a window of perception. And we create from consciousness everything. A clarity. Because the universe wants to give us everything. It's our universe. It does respond to us. But our window of perception is so tainted with fears, ideas, blocks, non-deserving, not being good enough, that we have an, an idea of what we want. But by the time it goes through our perception, it dilutes. It dilutes. When we start to become empty and we lose the attachment that is the, the means of our happiness, everything starts to come. Like this. I create like this. But I don't really want to create everything. Because I have everything. Like there's no attachment. No hay apego. You understand the difference? ¿Entiende la diferencia? The thing I want most la cosa que más quiero is all my teachers in life. Es que todos mis maestros se iluminen. But I'm not attached. Pero no estoy apegada. It's the thing I want most. Es lo que yo más quiero. But I don't wake up every day thinking about it. Pero no despierto cada día pensando. And ringing them saying, did you get enlightened? Did you get enlightened? Are you enlightened? No. No, no. Once you let go of attachment, Una vez que dejas ir el apego, everything comes. Todo viene. It just comes. Simplemente viene. It just comes. Simplemente because viene. yes, Porque sí. you're creating everything. Tú estás creando todo. But you have to start at the highest point. Pero tienes que empezar en el punto más elevado. And that is peace, y eso es la paz, love, el amor, and internal completion. Y la plenitud interior. And from that point, y desde ese punto, everything falls into place. Todo se acomoda en su lugar. From that point, I focus on the highest point and everything else falls into place. Because everything else is a consequence, not a necessity. Does that make sense? You got it? Yes. Muy bien.